Now, joining us on the line is our correspondent, Mihal Bardovit. She's at the Turkey Syria border at Kili's. Thanks for joining us, Mihal. What is the situation, the border there now, and what can you tell us about people fleeing Aleppo and heading to Kili's? Right. First of all, um, at Kilis at the border, um, they have the police have cut off a zone between where we are as reporters and where the refugees um, are behind the border. So they're a couple of kilometers away between us. There's an empty space. Um, they're only uh, just away from us. We're only able to see the the empty space. We're not able to see the refugees at the moment. They're on the other side, thousands of them waiting helplessly to get on this side of the border. However, it's been reported that since 5 a.m. this morning, Turkish time, our Turkish authorities have been supporting the refugees on the other side. They have taken supplies to the border, um, camps, uh, providing them with blankets to keep them warm at night, also, of course, with supplies of food. But they've also sent um, some ambulances to the area as they've been treating the ill or those who have been wounded uh, at the border. So the Turkish authorities are not ready to take them in at the moment, but they are trying to do their best to help them, to support them as they are uh, stuck at this situation where they are still waiting to uh, be allowed to come into Turkey. You said Turkey is not ready yet. They haven't let refugees across the border. How long is that going to last? Mahal? Well, it's not uh, possible to tell. They haven't uh, given us a specific time when they're going to open the borders. Yet they said they will accept them. But as Prime Minister Davuto said, uh, there are thousands, tens of thousands of people. And this is happening very, very fast and in a huge number. So um, it's not that easy. Turkey needs to take some precautions to make some preparations. Um, where will they be transported to? The containers and camps are full at this side of the border. So, um, you know, it's not just where will they be taken to, but how will they be taken to? Just the transportation is an organization in itself. Uh, but, of course, there are so many people, thousands of them, are suffering because they've been escaping su such horrible situation of war at home. Um, Turkey wants to be sensitive. They want to help out. But Turkey is also trying to be sensitive to its own needs as well. Uh, they have to um, check the people that are coming in to its borders. We're talking about thousands of people, um, and we've just experienced terrorist attacks in Turkey. So they need to make some kind of registration, and they need to control the people, what kind of uh, belongings they're bringing with them. So um, Turkey needs to be careful uh, as they're trying to help. They have to be taking care of themselves as well as the people that they're taking care of. All right, so the situation on the border is subjected to change. Thank you so much. We'll keep checking this. I'm Mahal Bardovit joining us from the border of Turkey and Syria.